everybody welcome back to another gameplay video this could be the last one that I do uh, for quite some time as obviously um, the switch to Pokemon TCG live uh, is you know is going to be happening and they're not going to be giving any more uh, support here for Pokemon TCG online so this could be the uh, the last gameplay video period but this will definitely be the last one here for Pokemon TCG online and um, you know it's been a pleasure you know I've, I've been doing this for you know for over a year now and um, I've had a lot of uh, you know ups on here and I had a lot of downs as well but um, you know we're definitely in the right place and we're moving forward and you know, what better way to finish off this, uh, you know, finish off Pokemon TCG Online, uh, you know, with a, with a deck that is going to be, you know, getting finished off as well, and it, coincidentally as well, it's my favorite deck of pretty much the entire uh, format since it came out, and... It was, the, you know, the deck that I got back into the game with and played my first tournament back in, I think it was 2021. And uh, it was absolutely awesome. You know, I think I went 3-2 in that tournament. It wasn't the greatest uh, performance, but it performed well this past weekend. Getting first place at the Charlotte regional championship played by Aiden Coos and if that doesn't tell you what it is then we're going to tell you right now it is Eternatus my absolute favorite deck this is his exact list it's the list that uh, you can find on uh, limitlisttcg.com Right, and it's really simple, right? Uh, it's a Turnus Glaring Weezing. Weezing is there to shut down, um, you know, different uh, abilities, and then Turnus is the is the brute, right? He can deal the most damage, uh, and he knocks out a lot of things. So, to start, we got four Crobat with Dark Assets, right? Uh, that's what we have it here for is to draw cards until we have six. Venomous Fang is okay too if we need to use it and we're in Jiffy. Drapion here, I know we're dark, but we need to be more dark and have more of an advantage against Mew. And this is where this comes in. Uh, the Eternatus V, pretty cool. It's there to go into the VMAX right here. Right, so this thing's an absolute monster. 340 HP, the, the most in the game right now. Um, Eternal Zone here can have up to eight bench Pokemon, but they all gotta be dark. And then Dread End, 30 times for each of your dark Pokemon in play, including itself. So it can hit for 270. And then we have Galarian Zigzagoon here which has the Headbutt Tantrum ability, uh, where you can place a damage counter on one of your opponent's Pokemon. Then we have the Coughing here. So the Coughing here is actually a really big deal because of this attack, Ascension, right? This is great for, you know, you want to start with this turn one, right? And go into that Weezing right away. If you can't evolve, Right on the first turn, you are probably going to lose. Right, and I say that with a, with an absolute heavy heart here. Right, uh, if you start with this, right, and you're going second, you do this right away. If you go first, it's unlikely your opponent is going to be able to knock this out, unless maybe lost bugs, but. You want to try and get a second one out if you can. It depends on what you're playing against, right? Mew, they probably won't be able to, especially with the double turbo version. 
because they need a turn to evolve. Lugia, they're not going to be able to because they're not going to be able to get their summoning star off. Right? So those are the top three decks. Reggie's. Um, Reggie's can knock it out. But they would have to absolutely get like a god hand. Like a god start. Everything has to just line up perfectly for them. So yeah, those are the top four decks. Gudra. Gudra kind of the same thing with Lost Box there. But probably to kind of like a, a lesser degree. And uh, Arceus Duraludon as well. Uh, they won't be able to touch it. So there we go. And then the Weezing, the star here. Here for its neutralizing gas and then the poison. Right? No abilities except for neutralizing gas and then four damage counters for poison. To which Hisui and Sneasler combos with that, right? You put two more damage counters, so it's actually 60 damage in between turns due to poison. When you're using um, uh, uh, Galarian Weezing's attack there. Right? Severe poison. Four. And then the two from the ability here. Six. Alright, Trainers of Energy. Boost Shake. They're really good here. Get that evolution on Weezing. Uh, yeah, really quickly and heck you can even do this turn one if you get it right personally I like playing two of this there's only one in the list in his list which is really surprising I like playing two dark patch you know it's a great recovery card pretty cool echoing horn I'm not too sure why this is in here right this could be you know it, it could be there just in case if your opponent benches way too much right and let's say they only have you know their one Lugia in play and then they got you know five other or no four other you know like support Pokemon like Manaphy or um, Luminion or Dunsparce and then a couple Archeops, right? They still have one bench space open. You can use Echoing Horn to put a Pokemon from their discard onto their bench to fill it up so they can't play another Lugia. You know, stuff like that, right? Same thing in the Reggie matchup. You can put a duplicate Reggie right into play so they can't use Ancient Wisdom. So that's probably why this is there. It's a neat little card. Escape Rope, the new Warp Point, Quick Ball, Switch, Ultra Ball here, cool, the best stadium for the deck here, Temple of Sinnoh, Hard Counter to Lugia, really good, Boss's Orders, uh, 3 Judge, right? That's what you kind of want to do with this deck, is just disrupt, disrupt, disrupt. Same thing with Marnie. One Serena, right? The, uh, you know, boss's orders for V Pokemon, and then the ability to draw cards, right? So it's neat to have. Parasol here, obviously, for the Evital. You know, for the, you know, there's numerous effects for Reggie Ice, right? Numerous effects that this blocks. Forest Seal Stone, a huge consistency card for this. Search your deck for any card, half a Starbird with Star Alchemy. A Hiding Dark, no retreat cost. Be careful with Temple of Sinnoh. And then seven dark energy because it's a dark deck. All right, let's get into some games. Yeah, and personally, that's it's not my list. You know, I would be playing a um, probably a second boost 
shake for sure. So, but we will see. Let's see if we can find an opponent if there's any left on here. Oh, dark man. Oh, they could be playing the same thing. Nice. Yeah, swivel first. Coffin. Oh, bro. <laughs> so very important, don't bench anything until you see what your opponent is playing. Crowbats. the same thing here so we will play this dark asset here for yes oh and we even got the blue shake too <laughs> oh it's so good so good right now so we don't even need to. And we're literally set up next turn too to get the second one. <laughs> nope, no abilities for them. I did that. So do I Marnie? I think I'm going to I think 
They got a two card hand, so I wonder if they have anything to draw. Dark energy. And I'm just gonna keep him off that two card hand here. And then. I can actually get the crow back. get this. Yeah, we're gonna get the Sneezler. Let's 
dark assets. Yes. So this escape rope is going to be really good uh, because we can um, get to our Eternus easy as well. So I think what we'll do Attach for turn here. And then let's severe poison. up Eternus here. We only need to hit 260, so 270. So we are going to We still didn't get it, which is crazy. I can't even...
sucks. Holy smokes. Try again, one more. Come on. Ah, uh, heads. Oh, that's crazy too, Wick. We went, we started first that game too. Holy smokes. So, this is not terrible. I'm honestly going to start probably zigzagging here. And I'm going to do that just because of the fact that I can retreat. And then, and then go into... Um, a coughing and then boot shake it right into wheezing. Drake is old, okay. So that's pretty good. Um, so let's quick ball. Probably this. Second coughing, but I want to make sure I have a follow up robot in the next turn. Good shape. There we go. Progress. Because 
Um, they only have... Uh, they're only gonna have one Pokemon to play, like, the whole game. So, now the question is... Is if I can get a Dark Patch. And then we'll Assets. That was a bad play, okay. Of course they're gonna go after that. Put this here and just say done. What a stupid deck. I can't even break through because of this parasol and this path. Like, I can't even do anything. That's like my last one, too. Just terrible. best thing that we could have gotten. Uh, I am going to go for a Marnie. Marnie. This here. Um, we'll put this. Dark patch. They probably have it. They probably have a boss. We Lily, we Lily couldn't do anything. This is terrible. Drake is old and Crobat Max. Like, what is this? Yeah, sorry about that, everybody. We lo we lost two games, but um, yeah, we'll show off the deck again. This is the Charlotte, North Carolina regional winning list by Aiden Coos. Right, his, it's his, the Eternus Galarian Weezing deck, and uh, you know it's a favorite of mine. I love playing Eternus. Uh, you know it's one of my favorite Pokemon, and. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Can't say enough about this. So, um, you know, despite two losses against things that are not played, so with perfect starts as well. But uh, the dark acid here, 
is great for on Crobat V. Draw cards if you have six, right? Pretty much professor's research. We lean a lot on that. Uh, Drapion V there, you know, with the wild style. It's great against single rapid and fusion strike Pokemon, so mostly Mew. Eternus V, so it's here to evolve into the V Max right here. With the uh, Eternal Zone ability, you can have up to eight Pokemon on your bench, but they all have to be Dark type. And then uh, it's Dread End Attack. There's 30 times uh, for each of your Dark Pokemon in play, including itself, so it's capable of hitting 270. Right, nine Dark type Pokemon in play, 270, which is awesome. Glaring Zigzagoon for the Headbutt Tantrum. Ability. Put a damage counter anywhere on the board so it makes that uh, 280 uh, mark uh, accessible. Coughing, the best starter of the deck, right? Go right into Weezing. Which, uh, with Weezing here, uh, it shuts down all opponents' uh, abilities. Which is great against things like the uh, Ancient Wisdom on Regigigas, uh, Summoning Star on Lugia V Star, uh, you know, Luminion's Luminous Sign, other Crobat's Dark Asset, right? Radiant Greninja. It hits pretty much everything. It's one of the best cards in the game right now. Um, that'll be rotating out in a couple weeks. And then lastly, the Sneasler here for the Pokemon with the Poison Peak ability. And then the Trainer cards, Boost Shake, right? You get that first turn wheezing. Dark Patch, right? Get our energies back. Echoing Horn, so this is great at putting uh, a Pokemon from your opponent's discard onto their bench, right? Great against things like, um, I don't know, like Mew VMAX, right? No, pardon me, not Mew VMAX, I was going to say, um, uh, like Lugia V-Star, um, Regigigas, Right, you know, things that need like a full bench and if you can disrupt their bench, right? Escape rope for a switch card. A quick ball for a Pokemon search. Switch for another switch card. Ultra ball for our evolution and basic search. Temple of Sinnoh, the best stadium in the deck, right? For the deck, right? Great against Lydia. Boss's order switch. Judge, three judge, we want to disrupt as well with that ability lock. Same thing with Marty. Serena, a Suedo boss's orders and a discard here. Big parasol, prevent the effects. Four seal stone, probably the best card in the deck in my opinion. Um, to be able to search your deck for any card. This is so huge. I love this card. All right, it's going to be a great card for pretty much um, the, all of its lifetime. So, awesome. A hiding dark energy just for the uh, free retreat. And then lastly, a, uh, you know, seven dark energies. Because we're in a dark type deck, so. And there you go, everybody. This is Aiden Goose, Charlotte, North Carolina regional winning list uh, that happened this past weekend. And uh, yeah, I'm happy to celebrate my uh, favorite deck despite two losses uh, tonight. So, but uh, yeah, there you go, everybody. Let me know what you think. And yeah, uh, you know, do all that mumbo jumbo, you know, like, subscribe, etc. Uh, I'm still planning on doing that giveaway when I can get to 100 subscribers. So, yeah, when we get there, I'll, uh, I'll do a big video on that. And, uh, yeah, this is Gameplay Wednesday. Could be the last one. It will definitely be the last one on Pokemon TCG Online. But, um, yeah, it could be the last one overall. 
We will see you in the next uh, few weeks. Don't forget to check out Deck Profile Friday. Those are still going to keep going. And then opening Sundays as well. So we're going to keep keep those going from, uh, for sure. So if we don't do any more gameplay videos, it will definitely be another series that I'm going to be doing. And um, yeah, there you go. I just love the game. So, But uh, yeah, thank you everybody for watching this video. And uh, once again...